What is up, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video coming at you with another draft video. The New England Patriots have officially moved on to the third round, and in the third round with pick number 87 overall, the New England Patriots have selected Edge Rusher and Fernie Jennings. Now, this is kind of just like the, the pick that the Patriots had um, latest in Cuche, or Uche, rather. The way that he is mainly used is as an edge defender, but technically when you're looking at it, his position is linebacker. Brings a pretty fair build here to the New England Patriots defense here. Sitting at 6'2", 256 pounds. Dude's got some big arms, right? He's pretty lengthy. Going to be a guy who is going to do a nice job at batting passes down here at the line of scrimmage. His freshman year was more of a red-shirted year for him in which he played 15 games as a reserve with a total of 2 tackles for loss and 19 tackles. Then moved on to 2017 where he moved to the starting lineup and racked up 41 tackles, 6 for a loss, 1 sack, 2 forced fumbles in 11 starts. He has had some injuries along the way, of course having a lower leg injury which wasn't too severe, but his season did get ended due to a very serious knee injury. He worked hard to get back to his 2018 season, get ready for that season in which he appeared in 14 of 15 possible games and recorded 51 tackles, 14 for loss, 6 and a half sacks, and a team high of 11 pass breakups. He completed his career with Alabama with a total of 12 tackles for loss, 8 sacks, and also posted 83 stops, intercepted a pass, and broke up 5 others in 13 starts. Now looking at the Patriots, you know, signings this offseason, looking at the other guys that they've brought on board, especially in Uche, the linebacker, this is going to be more of that classic linebacker position. In fact, interesting enough, the NFL gave him a comparison of Kyle Van Noy, which of course the Patriots could could really use another guy of after losing Kyle Van Noy this offseason to the Miami Dolphins. Van Noy has been a staple to the Patriots defense, being essentially a three down linebacker great in coverage able to get to the quarterback of course and help in the run game he excelled mostly in a 3-4 defense now I'm sure it could go both ways that he could even play in a 4-3 now what the New England Patriots are going to do this upcoming season does have questions but this past season was definitely a 3-4 defense um they they love to use their linebackers their linebackers were great it was the core and the heart of the Patriots defense really what made them the boogeyman defense but of course after losing three of their linebackers this offseason a bunch of question posed okay are they going to go back to a 4-3 defense but after these two signings of Uche and now Jennings they very well could possibly stay at 3-4 he has an average rush, there's nothing too crazy to, to really say about it, but the guy has really good technique, he has good strength, especially when it comes to the point of attack. Uh, I, I would say that he's pretty nice off the line when I'm looking at him play, when I'm looking at him rush as an edge defender, I like the way that he's able to get off the line, you know, for, for him to come in and already have technique to be able to work with and already kind of has that stapled down for the most part, I really like that and I already think that he could be a guy that you plug in day one and become a very nice piece. Playing for Alabama, of course, has taught him a lot, especially, you know, what it means to win and different play assignments, you know, and, and what essentially it means to be in a disciplined football team. So, you know, Bill Belichick loves his Alabama guys. I love even selecting Alabama guys. There's just something about them that they always bring a very nice aspect to the team. Like I said before, he's really going to use his physicality to set the edge, which is something great about him. Another physical piece that the Patriots are adding on defense. A young guy, too. I love what they're doing here so far in this draft um, with, with adding some of these younger physical athletic pieces. But like I said before, also a guy who uses his length and it shows. It shows in his statistics and it shows on his highlights um, or his film, rather, that he is able to go up and bat these passes down with his lawn frame. 
He's another guy that plays super tough on the field. His uh, his hits when tackling is really tough. And I think that that is really interesting because when you look at the Patriots selection so far, surprisingly, or you could even say not surprisingly, you can make that case, but all have been on defense, safety, and another linebacker slash edge defender. And each of them so far has been really praised in how they tackle. Very uh, hard-hitting, lumber-type strike tackles. So to me, it's it's very clear that the Patriots are really looking at something when they're going after these defensive pieces. Now for me, this is a guy I definitely have question marks again, like I did with uh, Uche, about how he would be able to do in coverage. I think that he could be a really nice piece in helping stop the run to possibly as, you know, potential outside linebacker. But before that was to happen, you know, he's going to need to develop a little bit more, especially as a rusher blitzing attack. Uh, His potential is definitely there, but it has definitely not peaked. Again, another guy that has some raw talent heading in here. But, you know, I really like what the Patriots have, the coaching staff, you know, the other players. So I really think that they'll be able to get that out of him. It's just a question on, okay, how long is that going to take? A great thing that I love about this guy is the fact that he's going to be a leader. If he sticks around the Patriots for for a good amount of time, he could potentially be a guy that takes over as a potential captain. He was actually honored as one of four permanent team captains back in 2019. He's a guy with a nice sense of football IQ. He's smart. He's an instinctive player who seems to always be impacting the, um, you know, defensively one way or another. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that every single play he's going to be making the, the tackle, making the stack, getting an interception, anything like that. But one way or another, he will be a silent guy that is making plays in and out every single snap. He could very well be the type of linebacker slash edge rusher, you know, whatever they decide to mainly put him as, uh, but can disrupt passing lanes for a quarterback, especially because of his length. His ability to track the ball is clearly there when you look at the statistics with, with the amount of batted passes down that he's had. Now, like I always say, guys, especially with the with the new draftees, that where there is good, there is bad. There's things they need to improve on. There is some concerns. And one of my biggest concerns here, as you probably could have guessed earlier on in the video when I said it was going to be his injuries, you know, throughout Alabama having some of these injuries, the lower leg injuries, the serious knee injury. Hopefully it doesn't affect him, but it's going to be something to watch. Now, when watching his highlights, something that popped out to me was, you know, jumping off sides. Now, seems like sometimes he got away with it. You know, the timing was good for the most part, but for me, I saw times where I was like, oh, that, that wasn't a flag. Like in the NFL, he would have been flagged for that. And when I did more digging, I found out that he was actually often penalized for mistiming his snaps and ending up jumping off sides. Now, that is something he needs to get under control because that is not going to help us. Five-yard penalty, you know, if that's going to happen constantly, let's say it's on a third down. Let's say it's on a fourth down. That's big, big plays, and Bill Belichick does not like that. You know, penalties can really kill a team, and we saw that multiple times even this past season. He's also a guy that (laughs) definitely is not praised for his agility. You know, people actually have more concerns about his uh, his agility and how he's able to use that in space. He doesn't have the new type of build in the NFL. It's really the old school type. I mean, he uses his quickness more so to moving forward, getting to the quarterback, getting to the ball carrier, doesn't really know how to use that going backwards, you know, which, which again, it just goes to the fact of, okay, how's he going to do if he's asked to be in coverage? The thing about Alabama is the fact that they truly do get as much as they possibly can out of their players. They rarely have guys in which, you know, they they leave the team and go, okay, their talent is super raw 
and and they if they go to the right team, the development is going to be just drastic. Okay, that's not necessarily what you're going to get here for the most part. What you see is what you get, especially physically. He isn't going to be a guy that's essentially going to get bigger, but at the same time, I don't really think the Patriots need that. Um, but he also isn't going to be a guy that you, you should expect to get much stronger or faster heading into the NFL. I think heading to the Patriots is one of the best possible don or <laughs> not donations, one of the best possible destinations for him. And the question truly is going to be how are the Patriots going to use him? Because according to how experts see him, they don't see him as a guy who is suited to play, let's say, run stuffer, you know, full time or being an early down uh, pass rusher or a third down pass rusher full time. He could potentially just be a guy you see at multiple areas in different situations, kind of like they did with Kyle Van Noy. But that's going to be it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on this signing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Like this video as it really helps me and the channel out. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. I will be doing videos on all of the NFL draft prospects that the Patriots take on for their 2020 draft class. And you guys are not going to want to miss out on them. Like always, thank you all so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in my next video.